Hey, what's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> trying this video for the third time now, so third third time's the charm, hopefully. Uh, I've decided to just uh, scrap the idea of having music playing in this one, as I was um, 0 for 2 previously in trying to get this video loaded. Um, so hopefully this one will make it up. Uh, hopefully I won't start. Bur hopefully I won't burst into song of any copyrighted material uh, that will cause them to remove my audio again. I, I know it's it's hard not to, but all kidding aside, I did want to make a video <clears throat> uh, of me enjoying this awesome, huge pipe. It's a uh, boot shokan, um, I, I, straight pipe. Got probably a billiard. Um, the bowl is kind of a brandy shape. But it is um, just beautiful rustication, nice dark black bull, um, just, just just a beautiful pipe. It's on loan to me from Pipe Friend. Uh, it was very generous and allowed me to borrow it for a couple of days to um, try it out. And I really appreciate that. Thank you, Pipe Friend, and thank you for the uh, sample of tobacco. I'm actually in a in my previous videos where I tried to. Uh, post. I was smoking um, London Squire by Cornell and Deal. It's a Balkan blend, pretty heavy on the Latakia. Uh, smoked really cool and tastes incredible. Um, however, I did learn that it makes uh, my house uh, stink uh, pretty good afterwards. Um, so I decided maybe since I was going to smoke indoors again, that I would try a different blend, the one that's a little bit more mild. So I'm smoking a, a different Balkan blend, uh, Frog Morton on the Bayou, um, but it's really good. I, I like it quite a bit. It's um, I, I think I I don't know if I've seen too many people say negative things about any of the Frog Morton blends, but I, I really like this one. It has a um, um, so a nice amount of Latakia and, and just a hint of Perique, um, but not too heavy at all. I'm really horrible at describing tobaccos. For the most part, I can just really say if they're good uh, to me or if they're bad <laughs> to me. Um, <clears throat> but I, I can smoke uh, this tobacco without it ever really burning or biting on the tongue. And this pipe is definitely heavier than any pipe I have, but not too heavy where I can't hold it in my mouth. Of course, I sound like a fool when I try to talk with it in my mouth. So maybe I won't do that anymore. But I, I love it. This is just beautiful. Um, I really like the the wide, wide bit. It's incredibly comfortable in the mouth. There's a nice taper to it there at the end. Um, <clears throat> just very lovely. Uh, so thank you again, my friend. Um, but the other part of this video that I wanted to share were my Thanksgiving plans. My wife and I are actually flying out to New York, um, technically New Jersey. We have a friend that's going to Seton Hall. Um, it's her last semester there. She's doing a master's in business administration. And no one has came out to visit her yet, uh, none of her friends. So we thought we would do that for Thanksgiving because she promised uh, us a classical old-timey Thanksgiving with all the the trimmings, um, and if you promise me really good food, then I will probably come. Um, but we're also going to try to go to the Macy's Day Thanksgiving uh, Parade, or Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, sorry, um, and see a few museums and do all the other fun New York things, but not too much because we want to actually enjoy the trip and not be constantly uh, trying to see sights. So we'll probably spend some of the day just uh, relaxing. But I wanted to share that with you because those of you that have been to New York or maybe live in New York, I was wondering if you had any suggestions of any cool restaurants uh, to go to or any cool shops or stores uh, to check out that aren't like a chain uh, store, something that's special to New York. Um, or especially a, a pipe uh, shop or a tobacconist to check out. I'd love to come home with some uh, specialty tobacco from... Uh, 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 pipe shop in New York, that'd be really cool. So any suggestions, uh, I'd happily take them. 
So that's one thing for Thanksgiving. I'm doing that. Hopefully, before Thanksgiving, um, if I get all everything taken care of, I'll be getting uh, a not a new pipe, but uh, one of my pipe bowls um, that I, came in a lot that I purchased. Uh, we'll be coming back with a church warden stem placed on it by Tim Thorpe. Uh, uh, Tim's just uh, been very uh, cordial and incredibly fast at returning emails and contacting uh, me with answering my questions and um, actually has just contacted me to let me know that my pipe was ready. So I'm very excited to get that back. Uh, if you don't remember, I had, I had showed this bowl in a previous video and I'll put it right here. All right, that was the uh, bowl that was a little bit confusing to me. But from suggestions from some of you viewers, I, I decided that it would be a good idea to put a church warden stem on that bowl. I've been uh, wanting a church warden pipe um, for quite some time because I think it'd be nice to add that to the collection or the repertoire of pipes. Um, so I think that would be fun. So as soon as I get that, I will uh, make a video of it. I uh, haven't decided what type of tobacco I'm going to... I'm going to try to designate just one type of tobacco to that. So if any of you smoked church warden pipes often in the past, excuse me, and have any suggestions on what type of tobacco works best in them, whether it's a, a Virginia or uh, an English blend or aromatic, excuse me, let me know. I'm kind of leaning towards aromatic because I think smoking the pipe itself in public would already be a, a, a fun conversation piece. So if I'm going to do that, I'd like to have a, a tobacco that's pleasing uh, to the people around me. But maybe aromatics don't work too well in church warden. So you, if you guys have any opinion on that or any experience, definitely let me know. I'd appreciate it. And relight this real quick. So yeah, that's the update. Um, hopefully I won't have to make this video again. Hopefully it will work out. Uh, but hope you guys enjoy. Um, and coming soon, as I had promised in my one of my earlier videos, I will show you uh, the materials I use to clean up pipes when I, I get new pipes, um, or estate pipes that I purchased from eBay or things like that. Uh, I do want to do a video of that. Uh, it would be pretty sweet to do one of those uh, to show you kind of the before and after and how quick it works. So I will try that out um, soon. Um, but even before that, I will probably have, hopefully have a church warden smoking video. So you guys let me know what type of tobacco I should uh, smoke in the church warden uh, when it comes, and I'll do that. Uh, Till next time, just one more time, I want to say thank you very much to Pipe Friend. Uh, love this pipe. It is just wonderful, uh, and I definitely love the long smokes in it. Um, so we'll catch you guys next time.